Before we model the negative shape for the screw threads, let's first chamfer the bottom of the positive shape. We'll do that from the solid menu. Next in the top viewport, we'll make a positive form that represents the outer wall of our negative shape. And we'll use a cylinder again for this, keeping it in line with the center. And we'll make it at a radius of 30. And it'll be the same height. Now in the front view, I've turned on ghosted mode to make this easier. We'll take the positive form and raise it up until the top of the first thread pokes out of what will be our negative form. Now we'll do a Boolean difference, select what we want to cut first, and then select the positive form as our cutting tool. Now we have the negative shape made. To finish the top of the negative form, we'll drag the positive up until the chamfer edge that we made on the tip is just coincident with the top of it. And in the top view, we'll scale that in 2D from its center point. And we'll do one more Boolean difference. Again, cutting the negative form with the positive form. This provides us with a nice edge on the top of the cavity and a good entrance point for the threads. Now we'll need to remake our positive form. So again, we'll make a cylinder in the top view, and it was a radius of 30. And we'll make it the same height. And then drag it up. And do one more Boolean difference. This time, cutting the cylinder we just made with the negative form. Now we can rotate these to the side just so we can separate them, see it a little bit more easily. Select the top positive form and just pull it apart. And here we have our completed screw threads.